this windy. Hopefully you can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, okay, great, great. So the, the, the point of this presentation and this, this event, there, there, there are two elements to it. One is to in, inspire the public, um, get people excited about uh, our future in space. There are so many things to worry about, so many things to be concerned about. Um, there's, there are many troubles in the world, of course, and we, th these are important and we need to solve them. But we also need things that make us ex excited to be alive, that make us glad to wake up in the morning um, and be fired up about the future and, and think, yeah, the future is going to be great. You know, and, and this space exploration is one of those things. Um, and becoming a, a space-faring civilization, being out there among the stars, this is one of the things that I, I know makes, makes me glad to be alive. I think it makes many people glad to be alive. It's one of the best things. No, you first. <laughs> you first. What was the question again? Okay. <laughs> launch tomorrow. How do you feel? How do I feel? Uh, I tried to explain that this morning in a tweet and just at a loss for words, pretty much. Um, it's been years, you know, uh, since it was first spoken about. And we're like, no way. SpaceX coming here? No, that's going to be insane. And then the first truckload of dirt arrived and it was like reality <laughs> like, oh my god this really is gonna happen but at that time it wasn't starship or bfr it was uh the falcon right so like, oh cool we get to see falcon fly that's gonna be rad i don't think there's any falcons coming here <laughs> now it's this monster spaceship that's going to mars this just kind of happened upon you Right? You guys have lived here for a long time. You own your own business here. This was never in the cards for you, right? You, so it was just a total surprise. When, when do you think was the moment when you realized? The moment it became real was, uh, I'd love to go over there before sunrise and start because it's so quiet, you know? I love the sunrises. And that's kind of way I surf too. I love to surf early, but the moment it became real for me when they had the first little tent up and it was open and you could see what they're doing and there was nothing else there, no hopper, no nothing. And we pulled up and it was dark. I'm driving by, my puppy hanging out the window, and, and I looked in the tent and there was this little white. Let's go. And I'll never forget that moment. I was like, oh, that's a freaking rocket, man. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, this is real, you know? So yeah, that was my, that was my uh, moment for sure. It's just, it's always been surreal. It's always been difficult to, uh, to imagine, even when I look at it next to it, touching it, you know? <laughs> um, it still doesn't seem real. It's like a, like a vision, you know? And I guess that's what Elon's trip is. Your turn, right? I look at it, I've been watching it since the beginning, just ring by ring being built and all the testing and changes that have happened. And then now to see, you know, the stacked Starship out there and... I grew up, like, watching all the shuttle launches and on TV, not in person, never have been to one, but to, I'm gonna get to witness my very first true flight. I, it's, oh, the anticipation is crazy. I, you know, I, I look at it and it's just like, I get the jitters and I'm like, get all excited. And it was cool as a mom to see something that you know is gonna change the future of your community you know, in a big way. Beautiful day out here in South Texas. We are five miles, eight kilometers away from a prototype rocket that is 
literally something that I think most of you watching right now have been waiting to see for a, over a year. You know, ever since we first saw Elon Musk mention the um, belly flop to tail down maneuver at last year's Star Trek event, I, that, that was the thing that I'm like, how, how? How is this going to work? That is what we're going to see today. That looked incredible. That looked way better than I thought. Rolling to anomaly net, opening 3.911 at this time. Yeah. Incredible work, team. Nice work. I just want to see it. No, I'm going to be a mess. You know, I'm, I'm going to be a really emotional <laughs> but I have I've wanted to see this my whole life you guys are so you're so awesome you're so passionate you're so all in I love that about you I love that about you and I love that <clears throat> somebody said hey we're gonna come and we're gonna do this crazy thing and you're like cool I'm all in <laughs> on documenting that when did that begin was that immediate and Absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, it's instantly captivating. And I, I, we have no previous history of rocket chasing. <laughs> and uh, it definitely captures you. How can it not? I mean, you've been there, you're up close to it, and you look at it, you go, it takes your breath away. <laughs> when something takes your breath away, you pretty much chase it. 